Welcome, welcome to Hong Kong. This was a song the Lord gave me today. Welcome, welcome to Hong Kong. Welcome to Hong Kong. Welcome to Hong Kong. It is February the 20th today. And Jesus is on the throne and he's doing some wonderful, 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 wonderful things. Today was an interesting day and I am so thankful the Lord has saved my bacon. Okay, even though my toe has not healed yet and there's still some problems and I believe the Lord's going to heal my toe. um, But it's not quite there yet and the doctor's not sure will it heal, will it won't. Will there be more amputation? Won't, won't there? But the Lord has taken care of me, and he's taken care of my mother. Uh, today was an interesting day. We went to the hospital, and I was very excited because I was going over to Tom Lee Megabytes box in um, the Megabox uh, Mall, and they have a big theater there, seats over 200 people. It's really beautiful, and it's affordable, and I found that there's a date I want so that we could do a worship concert, a worship concert there. And uh, the worship concert is going to be called Glory in His Presence, Hong Kong. And it's a worship concert where several local bands, local worship bands are going to get together. We're going to have time of worship in English and Cantonese and maybe Putong Hua, Mandarin, and just learn how to love each other and care for each other and pray for each other. Um, I'm inviting several pastors to come to uh, uh, talk about what they're doing at their church and pray. In the program, we're going to talk about all the different organizations, charities that people are recommending. And instead of doing an offering or have even touching money, because the concert's going to be free, we'll let people contact organizations, contact churches, and as the Lord leads them, they'll be able to give directly to the churches. So this is very exciting. Uh, the Lord has allowed me to be able to uh, um, host the event. And if you would like to get involved and help me organize... Uh, my mother has some ideas on how we can make it more beautiful. Uh, please contact me. And uh, if you have this uh, worship band that you really would like to perf- see if they could come and lead worship, let me know. I've invited uh, several, but I, I've only got two different groups, including a beautiful young harpist. And we're coming into the glory of the Lord with a beautiful harp and also a beautiful concert pianist. Um, is going to be coming. But our list will be letting you know soon. But I'm so excited. So I was going over there to do this today, so excited. And I stopped for lunch because we had to wait and meet them at the theater at 2 o'clock. And all of a sudden, my phone was gone. And I was like, no. So I said, okay, I'm just going to peace out. I bought my phone really cheap recently for 1300 And uh So I thought, I'll have to get another one. So we went to get some flowers to hand out in the street tomorrow in Mong Kok and um, to pray for people and encourage them in Mong Kok. All of a sudden, I got a call from the taxi driver, and he found my phone, and he was bringing it to me, and we were going to go over to Megabox with him. On our way over to Megabox, boom, we were shocked. I hope my foot's okay seems to be okay. I, I hope my mother and I's bodies are okay. We seem to be okay, but you know how it is after getting hit in the back, rear-ended, it can get where you feel shock and you just feel a little funky. So we hope we're okay, and we know we're okay with the Lord. He's taking care of us. Um, and it was funny because all morning I told my mother, "These look at these little things that are happening. We're having a little bit of warfare, to not go. And after the accident, you know, I was asking my mother, do we need to go to the hospital? You know, and she didn't feel like she needed to. And I didn't feel like I needed to. My foot feels okay. We'll see on Monday when I have it checked. So say a prayer. Um, 
so we went and I said, well, let's go to Megabox. Let's get this taken care of. And now we've got the theater and we're starting to organize and put it together. And April 15th, we hope there's over 200 people there for a free concert worshiping the Lord. And God is going to move some of them to donate a little bit of their income uh, to ministries that are touching people in Hong Kong and other places touching people. So I'm very excited. The last time I did something like this at the Comic Cafe, it was a much smaller room, uh, but we raised over 5,000 Hong Kong dollars to, um, what was it, seven different or eight different ministries. And this time we're not even touching the money. We're allowing the people to give as the Lord moves them. And it's going to be a real exciting concert. The Holy Spirit's going to be strong there. Uh, Glory in His Presence, Hong Kong, April 15th. 2016. This is one of my dreams. They have other dreams that I want, but this is one of my dreams. Um, another dream is that Bibles will come. Another container ship will come from America. And a man in America is trying to make that happen right now. One other dream I have is to show a movie in Hong Kong, in the Mong Kok area, and bring hundreds of people so they can learn more about Jesus. I think we're going to do a small setting in a small place. About 20 people are allowed um, for Good Friday this year, but I'm hoping we can do it more so that the body can come together and learn to love each other. We are not alone. We are loving each other. Okay, now about all of this uh, th- uh, resistance that I went through today, somebody said that, you know, you have to go to higher authorities and angels and all of that because the resistance tough. But I go to Jesus Christ He is my higher authority, and He is your higher authority, and you don't have to be afraid. So I'm going to read this to you, this Bible verse. It is coming from uh, the book of Joshua. Okay, and that's also a place where we read about, Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Okay, so here we go. Joshua chapter 14, verses 6 through 15. It's talking about Caleb. Caleb was a man who went with Joshua and worked with Joshua for 40 years and served the Lord. Um, When all the other spies that went out and spied the land of Israel were afraid and lost their lives. Okay. Uh, And this is talking about when they finally went with Joshua over to the promised land and they... Caleb was wanting his rights that he had been given for land grant. The people of Judah came to Joshua at Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, said to him, You know what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God in Kadesh Barnea, concerning you and me. I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in my heart. But my brothers who went up with me made the heart of the people melt. Yet I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land on which your foot has trodden shall be an inheritance for you and your children forever, because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord has kept me alive, just as he said these forty-five years since the time the Lord spoke the word to Moses, while Israel walked in the wilderness. And now, behold, I am this day 85 years old. So they finally moved in the promised land, and Caleb served the Lord and believed the word of the Lord, that they were going to go in the promised land and take it over. He wasn't like his generation, and afraid, and uh, wanting to go back to Egypt, and wanting to go back into slavery, because they couldn't handle the freedom of the Lord. They couldn't handle following the Lord, the creator of all the universe, who wanted to call them friend. They were scared. They didn't believe that the Lord could help them beat giants in the land. But Caleb said, I can do it. I can do all things through Jesus Christ. Before he even knew Jesus Christ, Caleb said, I could do it. I can do it. And he did it. Okay, if we go a little bit down to another scripture... Um, Joshua 15, verses 13 through 16. According to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, he gave Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, a portion among the people of Judah, Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron. And uh, Caleb drove out from there the three sons of Anak, Shishai, Almen, and Taimai. Now, Anak and Anakites, they were giants. They were huge. And uh, he went up there, 
uh, up from there against the inhabitants of Dibir. Now the name of Dibir formerly was Kiriath Sefer. And Caleb says, Whoever strikes Kiriath Sefer and captures it, captures it, to him will I give Exa, my daughter, as wife. And one of the guys did, and God helped his wife, and they had a great life. Get a wife, have a great life. People tell me that every time. It is true. Okay, so what is this about? The Lord says, be bold, be strong. The Lord your God is with you. He does not want you to be afraid. When we were in the car, I was praising the Lord. I was told today, you need to have higher praise, and then the Lord will bless you and heal you. Whether I have higher praise or not, I had higher praise today, because I had a higher praise that I got my phone back. I didn't have to lose my SIM card and everything. But I also had higher praise because I, Mother and I, we made it out of this collision. And I'm telling you, the car hit us so hard in the back of the trunk that the back of the trunk started to half fold up into the wheel. Okay, I put on Facebook one of the pictures so you can see it if you want to. But we were safe. And best of all, I think my toe's okay. Um, every time the doctor sees my redness and swelling because I've hit my foot or something like that, he gets really mad and really worried and says, maybe I need to cut your foot off and put you out of your misery. But I'm not a horse. I'm a man. I don't need to be put out of my misery. I need to overcome anything and follow Jesus day by day by day by day. I need to be like Caleb. I am not afraid. Somebody tells you, well, you're a human. You should be afraid of the Anakites. Caleb was not afraid of the Anakites. And some people say they not only were giants, but their daughters had sexual relations with demons, and that's why they became giants. Whether that's true or not, they could have been afraid. Most of Caleb's generation was afraid. Most of Caleb's generation wanted to hide under their mother's skirts, go back to Egypt, go back to the f fine things that they had, and slavery and murder by the government there. And God wanted them to go into a land where they could worship the Lord their God in holiness and beauty, and be blessed. What do you want? Which land do you want to go to? I want to be with Caleb. I want to be strong. I want to be bold. I want to live until I'm 85. How about you? I want to live where at 85 I am strong all the way until one night I fall asleep and I go meet the Lord. Or one day there's a trumpet I hear and I rise. How about you? Be bold. Be strong. For the Lord your God is with you. Be bold. Be strong. For the Lord your God is with you. We shall not be moved. We shall not be moved. We shall not be moved. For the Lord our God is with us. Lord Jesus, today prophetically, you want... Everyone who's watching this video who doesn't feel strong or bold, you want every one of the people here to be bold, to be strong, to overcome every fear, overcome any kind of worry, overcome everything by giving it to you, Lord Jesus, and then you overcome and sh teach us how to live and teach us how to believe, teach us how to do the right things. Bless everyone here tonight. Let them have a beautiful night. Let them be bold. Let them be strong. The Lord your God is with you. Right now, I'm having a little pain in my this area, my ribs. It's not like I hurt a rib or anything like that. But when you get into an accident, sometimes you get a little sore. Okay? There are some people that are having some rib problems, some pain in this area. The Lord says, I have not ignored you. I'm putting my hands on your back, and I'm healing you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Just take a deep breath and rest in his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you still have colds. The Lord's going to heal your chest. He's going to heal your area. And your head's going to clear. And you're just going to have a beautiful Sunday tomorrow. 
Thank you, Jesus, for loving your people. People with ankles swelling. The Lord's going to show you what to do, show you how to take vitamins. He's going to bless you. He's going to lift you up. Your ankles are going to stop swelling, and you're going to be at peace and refreshed. Lord Jesus, bless everyone here and encourage them. Let them know to be bold, be strong, for the Lord of God, their God, is with them. And nothing will stop them from doing the kingdom's work. Today was my day to get the theater all paid for so that we can have him ready so that maybe 200 people or more could worship the Lord and learn and be encouraged. And the Lord chose us to have to go through a taxi accident, but we were not hurt and we did not die. No matter what happens with my foot, I will not stop believing it, that the Lord has a plan. At any moment, he can heal us just pressing the button, whatever they have to do, and we are healed. And I believe that, and you should believe it. Be encouraged. Jesus loves you very much and loves to laugh because we are so foolish, but he makes us beautiful people. In Jesus' name, see you real soon. Amen.